November 6th, pastor saying to us, he reigns through us. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Colossians chapter 2, verse 15. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. From our opening verse, we see that Jesus made a spectacle of Satan and his cohorts in hell. He spoiled principalities and powers and openly humiliated them. All the spirits of darkness saw this happen. The Connie Bear translation says he disarmed them. Hallelujah. Now, He's reigning over them and over all things. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 25 says, For he must reign, so he hath put all enemies under his feet. Jesus is in heaven, seated at the right hand of God, a place of power. So how then is he reigning? How does he reign over his enemies? Romans chapter 5 verse 17 gives us an idea. It says, for if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. He reigns through us. When we reign, He reigns. And remember, the Bible tells us that grace reigns through righteousness. That, as sin had reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans chapter 5 verse 21. Thus, while we live for him as his light, his grace works in and through us. His grace for reigning. Hallelujah. Our job is well cut out for us. It's to reign in the realm of life and display the virtues and perfections of Christ. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 of the Amplified Classic. This is why he wants us to learn and grow in his word and put it to work. He wants us to run this world for him, using the name of Jesus. We are the light of the world, and we have overcome the adversary and all the adversities. We win by the blessed name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please say this confession with me. I have received grace to reign and rule in life as a king. Therefore, I exercise dominion over circumstances, the devil and his cohorts. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I break the influence of Satan over the nations, over the peoples, over the leaders, over the young ones all around the world. Christ reigns in the nations and his righteousness fills the earth and mantles the hearts of men for all souls belong to him. Hallelujah. For further study, please read Revelation chapter 11, verse 15, and Revelation chapter 5, verses 9 to 10. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Hebrews chapter 5, verses 11 to chapter 6, verses 1 to 20, and Jeremiah chapters 48 to 49. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 13 to 22, and Ezekiel chapter 37. Rhapsody of reality.